Hey, this is Janice and this is day 27 of my 77 day video challenge. And today I'm just going to share with you the book that I purchased from the bookstore. And this is Ryan Dobson's book on wanting to believe. It is a book on, it's a story on faith, family, and finding an exceptional life. While I was at the bookstore yesterday, I was praying, Lord, please give me um, a book that I could read, that I could um, learn from, especially a book that is related to what I do right now, family, faith, finances, and this is the first book that I saw at the bookstore and I was just so excited because I, um, there are so many books and uh, I, I saw this at the back of the shelf and uh, when I saw this wanting to believe I, I, I took it out I pulled it out of the shelf and I, I read the back cover and the front and I was just so shocked that it's exactly what I'm passionate about these days and this is also the brand of my other channel which is about faith family and finances and also of course related to personal development and my spiritual walk with god so i'm so excited to to read this book i did a little bit of research about ryan dobson well i i I got to watch some of his videos on YouTube, but I, I'm still so excited to read what's inside and uh, more of his stories, more of his experiences, and how he manages his faith, his family, his finances, and how he finds an exceptional life through what he does and uh, through his ministries. So yeah, I'm just so excited. And also, I also bought... A book for my daughter and she's so happy about it it's a uh, it's uh, about Disney stories it's got 365 stories for girls it's quite a thick book but I got it for a very uh, affordable price it's a secondhand book I think this one is also I don't know if this is second hand but this is still good and uh, it costs around four dollars yeah, this one costs $4. Uh, Macy's book, I got it for $6. It's a thick book and hardbound with glossy pages. It's really, really nice. And she likes it. She was very excited to read it yesterday. And today she spent the whole day because she has no class today. And she, I saw her. She was just beside me while I was working. And she's reading her book, her new book. So I'm just so happy that she loves reading i know one of the things that we can do to improve is to continue reading to keep on learning you know just grab any book that you have there and read it i know what you'll, you'll learn one or two things from that book that will help you grow and improve as a person or in, in any aspect aspect of your life if it's a a non-fiction or if it's about stories for kids at least they're learning they're improving on their um, grammar maybe or their reading skills so that's uh, something that everyone should develop the habit of reading and the habit of continuous learning because as we live we have to continue learning so yeah i'm so grateful i'm just sharing to you my book and uh, let's continue learning and improving for the grace for the glory of god because i know that god has a purpose for each and every one of us and he wants us to be the best that he wanted me to be to he wanted us to be so let's do our part let's uh, develop good habits let's pray for it first and let's follow through by the grace of God. I know that we can do all things because we have a God who strengthens us and who gives us power to do whatever he wants us to do. So thank you for watching. God bless you. And I'm praying for you to be successful and to be the best that God wants you to be. Bye.